We have a statement in the sports world, first you form a habit, then that habit forms you. And we're really defined by our habits. So no matter who you are, some of the best athletes in the world who've had a great set of habits, who all of a sudden got away from those habits, just became average athletes. Just like people who all of a sudden get behind really good habits in a period of four to six weeks can change a lot of things. So what are some of those things? I think um, the preparation is key. So if you're a business leader and you have an opportunity to speak, almost everybody I've worked with, the, the level of preparation that they put in before they ever get in front of any employee, it's a huge job, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a lot of preparation into what I'm gonna say, the impact of what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna say it. I think secondly, um, knowledge, really understanding my product, uh, a lot of uh, evaluation, a lot of preparation into what we're selling, what we're communicating, uh, being really good at the tactics and the strategy of the business. And then I think um, motivation. Your motivation is two parts. It's motive and action. It's that compelling urge to do or be better. And I think uh, that piece is, is driven by your goals. And every great business leader and every great coach has had uh, high goals that, that sort of pull them up towards them. Now they're short term. Um, so we can see, again, that light at the end of the tunnel and we take incremental steps. Uh, and I think, the last, I think the last part is that we understand that the man at the top of the mountain didn't fall there. It takes time, it's a climb, it's, it's not easy to get where we want. And sometimes if, if the goal is too high, um, we miss some of the short-term gains that we've been making on a daily basis.